Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to do, be doing a blender tutorial and I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a spinning top. Okay, so first we're going to, thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, insert, come up here to add, we're going to go to mesh and we're going to insert a cylinder. Okay, now we're going to click on S while with it highlighted, we're going to scale it and then we're going to select S and Z and we're going to spin it down to give this a, the body of the uh, top. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and uh, go over to the modeling tab. And then we're going to come over here to the faces. And then we're going to click on this face here, do an eye for inset. And we're going to inset the body of the top. So we'll put it about right here. <clears throat> then we're going to do E for extrude. We're going to extrude that up. For the top for the actual handle we're going to spin from okay now we're going to add some loop cuts so let's go ahead and go here add a loop cut in the center there one there one there <coughs> um actually let me undo that let's go back to here each time i click each time i add a loop cut i want to actually uh click and drag then when it, with it still highlighted, I want to do a scale. So we're going to bring that in. And okay, now you're going to put another loop cut here. And then we're going to do scale there. So S. And then we're going to create this kind of a... Click there. Go ahead and do a scale. Hit S on the keyboard. And then we're going to add the uh, top part of this. All right, so we're going to have something that looks kind of like this. And then later on, I'm going to add a, a round ball there to be the top of that. <coughs> All right, excuse me. Sorry about that. All right, so now we're going to come over down to the bottom here. We're going to go ahead and click, go to the face, select mode. I'm going to click here. Actually, undo that. We want to make sure you're always off of the, you're not on the loop cut because if you're on the loop cut and you try to click, it's going to add a want to add a loop cut. So we'll click there, do I for inset. Then we're going to add the bottom part of the of our uh, top. So we'll do extrude there, maybe about like this. Okay. So now we're going to do the same thing here with the loop cut. So we'll go to loop cut, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, hit S for scale. I'm going to scale that down pretty small and then we'll click one there do a scale we'll bring that in a little bit and then we're going to click here and do scale bring that in a little bit and then um, I think something like this and then I'm going to add a, a, a round sphere right here so we'll go ahead and do that later but right now we're going to go Let's go to uh, add here. We're going to add a, uh, go back to the layout. Let's go back to our layout. We're going to add a mesh. We're going to add a UV sphere. And then we're going to go ahead and go to move. Grab that blue. We're just going to drag that up. So I want to put this here. So this is going to be the top of our, our uh, little sphere here so we're going to select both of these and do an S for scale or actually I don't know if I can do both of them at the same time there we go S to scale okay so let's go ahead and do control plus and zoom in on this a little bit and then we'll pan down I'm going to add a loop cut right here so we'll go back to modeling do a few con c control pluses to zoom in I'm going to go to loop cut Let's go ahead and um, let's just go to the uh, face select here. Go back, get out of loop cut, go to the move, go to face select. Let's go ahead and spin this. Let's click this face here. I want to go ahead and scale this. So I'm going to scale this down a little bit like this. Okay, so that's going to be our top. And then I want to scale the ball down. So we're going to go ahead and Go to the layout, 
Let's click that ball, hit S for scale. And then we're going to scale that down. And then I want to do the same thing under modeling. I want to go to modeling, go to the uh, face here, select faces, and then hit a uh, Let me go ahead and spin this. I don't think I got the face. Let's go to layout, select that, go back to modeling. Go ahead and click there and then we're going to go scale. I want to scale that in a little bit like this. All right, so we have something like this. And then um, I just want to add a few more loop cuts here. So we'll go to loop cut. I'm gonna add, I want to add some here just to kind of make the handle a little different. Let's undo that. Let's click. I want to drag down a little bit and then do scale. Put there and then we're going to put one here. Scale. And then we're going to put one here. Scale. Just so you have a little bit of a different shape. And then we're going to go down to the bottom here. Let's put another loop cut here all the way at the top. And then we'll do a scale. Let's bring that in a little bit. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, copy this. Or actually, you know what? We don't have to. We'll just Let's just go back to layout. Let's select this ball here. And let's just do a scale. Make it smaller. Okay, now we're going to go, let's go ahead and add, while we're in layout, let's add a mesh, let's add the UV sphere, let's scale this down, we'll go ahead and grab that blue, we'll move it down, let's go ahead and spin this, alright, so now I want to go ahead and zoom in on this, so control plus to zoom, and then I just want to be able to make this, this is going to be the part that spins but what I want to do is go to modeling let's go to spin do a couple of control pluses then we're going to go ahead and click on this face here or actually go back to layout let's select that go to modeling and then uh, go to the face select and then we'll click that right there then we're going to scale this down All right about like that and then I want to do add a couple more loop cuts here. Do scale. Add a loop cut there, scale. All right, let's go ahead and spin that. Let's see what that looks like. All right, that looks okay. Now we're going to go ahead and go back to the layout. Let's click on that, hit scale. Let's we'll scale that down, and then we're going to grab that blue and move it up. And then we're going to go ahead and control plus to zoom in on this. We'll hit scale. Oh no, I'm sorry. Undo. Undo that. We want to go to the ball there. Hit scale. Blow that up a little bit. And then we want to move it up. Hit scale. Right about to there. And then grab it that blue and move it up a little bit. Now we'll go ahead and spin this. All right, this looks good. So this is going to be our top here. Uh, I want to fix that though there. So let's go to modeling. Let's go ahead and spin this. Let's put a... Uh... All right, this looks all right. Let's do control minus and then use that hand to, to move this down. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and... Um, Let's go to our um, add modifier. We're going to add a subdivision surface modifier. Actually, let's go back to layout. All right, we're going to select that. Add modifier, subdivision surface modifier. You're going to get a funny looking object, but we're going to fix that. And then I want to go ahead and click there, do the same thing, subdivision, surface modifier. 
and then we're going to right mouse click on that shade smooth and we want to do the same thing down here with this bottom one right click click on it add modifier subdivision surface modifier right mouse click shade smooth right here we're going to go shade smooth on this one and now we're going to come in here and add some loop cuts to fix this so we're going to go back to the modeling tab let's go ahead and spin this let's go ahead and start adding our loop cuts now loop cuts you have to add like right here you pull that all the way up to the top and then you want to add one down here to the bottom this just sharpens up these edges here so they're not uh, so they look a little bit more detailed see how this is round right here we don't want it to be round we want to drag it all the way down to add a loop cut in there so there's a little bit more detail to it and then we want to grab do one on this side here we want to click here add one add one right here the closer I get, the sharper the loop, the 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 uh, angle gets. We'll do a couple of control pluses to zoom in, and then we want to put one anywhere where there's we need detail, like right there, and then maybe right to there, and then we need one up here, and then we need one on this side. Probably need one right there, and then one here. Now we'll go ahead and spin this. Let's put looks pretty good. Let's add one more here and then add one here at the bottom. And then we'll go ahead and spin this. Let's add one in right right in here. Add one there. And then we'll have to add a couple right here. One there and then one on the bottom. Go ahead and spin that, and then we'll add one in here, and then one at the top there. All right, so let's go ahead and control minus to zoom out of there. Okay, so this is going to be our top. We uh, added the lip cuts to it, so now we're going to go ahead and go to the layout, see what it looks like. It's looking pretty good. I mean, it probably maybe add another loop cut right here go back to layout this looks pretty good and then um, now we can go ahead and uh, save this let's do the uh, subdivision surface modifier let's put two in there so make this smoother all right that looks good and then we're going to go ahead and go to this tab here and we'll add some color to it click on there and then we'll go to the uh, globe setting select new come down here to base color then we're going to add a little a lot of blue right there then we're going to add a new one here we'll do the same thing with that one we'll do a blue and then we're going to spin this and we need to do one here new base color change that to blue so basically this is our little top here let's go control minus and then um, now that we're finished with this um, I'll go ahead and uh, I don't think I want to do too much to it other than this. We'll just go ahead and we can do a file and then we can do export. Export it as an STL. And we could call this uh, top. And then put it on the desktop. And then export STL. So this will be ready to, to bring into a printing, uh, a printer uh, uh, software and then uh, print this. So what we could do here is do a um, Windows symbol at shift and then S and then we could just make a little picture put it on the uh, 
for the YouTube channel. We'll go ahead and put this in the uh, into the paint. We'll go to the paint there, paste this into here. We'll crop it, and then we'll do a save as, save it as a JPEG, and then we'll just do an untitled save there. Okay, that's going to end the tutorial today on uh, how to create a spinning top in uh, Blender. And we'll go ahead and close that. Don't need to save changes here. I'm not going to save the top there. And then we'll just go ahead and close that. And then here's our uh, STL file. Go ahead and open this in, in your STL viewer. This is the top right here. So it's got a ball up there to spin it with. And then it has a ball on the bottom there to spin freely. Okay, that's going to end today's tutorial. Hopefully you enjoy watching and you got some useful tips out of the video. Thanks again for watching.